Hello children, in this video we will begin with unit 3.1 Night of the Scorpion which is a poem written by Nizim Ezekiel who was an Indian Jewish poet, actor, playwright, editor and art critic. He was a foundational figure in post-colonial India's literary history specifically for Indian writings for a wider range. The poet depicts the selfless love of a mother who was stung by a scorpion. It captures a well-detached black and white snapshot of Indian village life with all its superstitious simplicity. The poet dramatizes a battle of ideas fought at night in lamplight between good and evil, between darkness and light, between rationalism and blind faith. And out of all of this confusion, there arises an unexpected winner, that is, the selfless love of a mother. So now children, Let's read the stanzas and understand the poem. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. Ten hours of steady rain had driven him to crawl beneath a sack of rice. Parting with his poison, flash of diabolic tail in the dark room, he risked the rain again. The peasants came like swarms of flies and buzzed the name of God a hundred times to paralyze the evil one. So let's have a look at the meanings. Diabolic means having the qualities of devil or wicked. Parting means transferring the poison into the body of the mother. Swarms means a large number of people. Paralyze means to stop an activity. Buzzed means chanted. So here the speaker specifically remembers the night on which his mother was stung or bit by a scorpion. As it was raining continuously for 10 long hours. So the scorpion might have crawled under a sack of rice to escape from the rain. The poet specifically remembers this night due to this event where his mother was bitten by a scorpion. And children, if you do not know the consequences of a stung by a scorpion, then so a sting of a scorpion is very fatal. It means that the mother could have died if the poison would have reached the entire body. So as the poem is based in an Indian village where medical facilities are not available, the way in which the mother is bitten is also shown or portrayed in flash of diabolic flash. It means that the scorpion has evil qualities with its evil tail. It also talks about the speed of the scorpion with the word flash. And after biting the mother, the scorpion runs away from there, again risking the rain. The poet has created a picture of a religious village where all the peasants, that is, their neighbours from far and near come to look at the mother in large numbers and they start reciting the prayers to reduce and stop the effect of the scorpion's poison. Here the poet has compared the neighbours or the peasants to swarms of flies means large number of flies together because he does not like when they all come to his house. He hated them all because 
they made the night a hell for him his father and specially his mother with candles and with lanterns throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud baked walls they searched for him he was not found they clicked their tongues with every movement that the scorpion made his poison moved in mother's blood they said so the meanings are lanterns means old fashioned oil lamps with handles giant scorpion shadows means shadows of the villagers that looked like scorpions so children the peasants with candles and lanterns tried to find the scorpion but couldn't so the light of the lantern and the candles was throwing a giant shadow of a scorpion on every house they walked through with this the poet was implying or trying to tell us that there was still evil haunting the house that is the poet's house even after the scorpion had left the house they started making sounds with their tongue that is clicking their tongues the poet has shown the belief of the villagers that is the peasant on superstitions because they believe that every movement that the scorpion scorpion makes in that speed or through that speed the poison in the mother's blood will spread more quickly all over her body may he sit still they said may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight they said may your sufferings decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said may the sum of all evil balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain may the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition they said and they sat around on the floor with my mother in the center the peace of understanding on each face so let's see the meanings misfortune means unfortunate events diminished means to reduce ambition means strong desire to achieve something so as the peasants believed that the poison in the mother's blood moved very fast as the scorpion moved therefore they wanted the scorpion to sit still in one place so the poison would not spread in the body the peasants believed that the sufferings would cleanse some of the sins of the mother's previous birth or decrease the sufferings of the next birth and with the mother's suffering the balance of evil in this world would be reduced they say that it would cleanse her soul that is a mother's soul and kill the spirit of desire that is ambition which is the root cause of sufferings in the entire world after telling all of this they sat down on the floor with the poet's mother in the center although the villagers or the peasants were sad to see the mother suffering but the understanding that it was doing something good to both the mother's body and her spirit brought peace into the faces of these peasants more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and the endless rain my mother twisted through and through groaning on a mat my father skeptic rationalist trying every curse and blessing powder mixture herb and hybrid 
he even poured a little paraffin upon the bitten toe and put a match to it i watched the flame feeding on my mother i watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison with an incantation after 20 hours it lost its sting my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children so groaning means making a mournful sound due to pain skeptic means disbeliever rationalist means a person who bases their opinions and actions on reason and knowledge rather than on religious belief or emotional response hybrid means a thing made by combining two different elements so children as the night was advancing more and more villagers came with their candles and lanterns there were more insects around due to the rain and the rain was still continuously falling the poet's mother was moving from one side to the other lying on a mat she was suffering tremendous pain due to which she was crying in pain she was moaning the poet's father was not at all superstitious like all the other villagers he was a man of reason as your skeptic he reasoned first and believed rational thinking a person who believes in reason and logical thinking but at this situation that they were going through the father was willing to try anything under the sun logical or illogical he just wanted that anyhow his wife should feel better and come out of the pain she is suffering from he tried everything possible to cure his wife he used power powder mixture herbs and even hybrid that is a mixture of different elements he even poured little paraffin on the bitten toe and put fire on it paraffin means it is a flammable whitish translucent oily liquid that is used to you know relieve pain so as the flame was burning on the bitten toe the poet was fearfully watching his mother cry with pain the poet even watched the man who was trying to control the poison by performing some rites with an incantation that is the continuous chanting of words he was a holy man a priest which they think have magical powers the mother was finally cured when the poison finally lost its fatal effect after about 20 hours of suffering at last when the mother was relieved she first thanked god that the scorpion stung her and not her children this shows the mother's love for her children a mother can tolerate her own pain but not the sufferings or pains of her children so children in this way the poet nizam ezekiel has portrayed various emotions and feelings in this poem like the rural indian village its people superstitions their outlook and at last the love of a mother for its child okay children with this we have now completed with the explanation thank you for listening children take care